Hi everyone, today I bring a very interesting question from the topic electrostatic shielding in class 12. So the question says, here is a spherical metal shell, it's a conductor with center C. At a distance small r from the center, a point charge plus Q is kept. What they want is potential at point P, which is at what distance from this charge X. Now sometimes students do the mistake of thinking it's a very simple question. We want potential at P due to this plus Q. So they write the formula V equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q divided by distance of the source charge from the observation point which is X. So they think this is the answer and sometimes this will be one of the options in your entrance exams and you may tick this one happily but that is not correct. Let's see why this is not the right formula for potential at this point. Obviously, this is the formula for potential at this point due to this charge. There is no doubt. If somebody will ask you what is potential at point P due to plus Q charge, this is the answer. But the question was to find potential at P. And whenever they just say potential, it always means we have to find net potential. So, is the potential at P only due to Q, that is what we have to think. Now, because of the presence of this plus Q, electrons in this metal will be attracted towards this side. So, this side of the metal sphere will become negatively charged. So, this side will become negative. But the overall charge of the sphere was neutral and since it is isolated sphere, right? This sphere is not connected to anything, isn't it? So, since this sphere is not connected to ground, this sphere is not connected to batteries. What does it mean? It is isolated. Therefore, the total charge of this sphere should be conserved. And since it was neutral before, it should be neutral afterwards also. But since this side is negative because of the presence of plus Q, this side will become positive. Now, potential at this point which they want will be potential at point P due to this charge plus Q, also potential at point P due to these charges and these charges are what we call induced charges, induced charge. So there will be potential at P due to induced charge also. So even that has to be included. Now potential at P due to this Q charge, this point charge is easy, right? Formula of point charge, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught, source charge divided by distance of source charge from the point. But this is the difficult part. Why this is difficult? Because these charges are at distances from this point which you don't know. They are at different, different distances which we don't know. So, how am I going to find the potential, isn't it? So, how do we get rid of this? So, what do we do? So, this is where the concept of electrostatic shielding comes. To know what electrostatic shielding says, look at this diagram. So, here I have drawn a closed conducting surface. Okay, it's a closed three-dimensional. And this closed surface, conducting surface, separates the space into two parts. So, this is the inside space which I am calling space 1. This is the outside space which I am calling space 2. Now, there may be some charges in the inside space Q1 here and on the inside of this conductor which I am calling minus Q2. Then there may be charges outside like Q4 and charges on the outer surface of this conductor which I am calling Q3. What electrostatic shielding says is the net electric field is zero in space one due to charges which are outside. Remember, I am not saying here there is no electric field due to Q4. There will be obviously electric field here due to Q4, but the net electric field due to Q4 and Q3 has to be zero inside. Similarly, the net electric field in space two due to which charges, charges which are inside Q1 and minus Q2. That total electric field outside in space 2 will be 0 due to charges in space 1 which is inside. So, now we came to know 
that the electric field inside due to these charges outside will be zero. So electric field inside this sphere is zero. And we know that if electric field is zero inside, potential inside must be constant. Why? Because electric field is directed from higher potential to lower potential. But there is no electric field. So there cannot be higher potential or lower potential. That means potential at P will be same as potential at C. Right? Therefore, though they ask potential at P, I can calculate potential at C and both will be same because remember electric field is zero. And what will be potential at C? Potential at C due to Q plus potential at C due to induced charge. Right? This induced charge. So what will be potential at C due to this Q? That is easy. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R plus what would be potential at C due to these charges? Well, that will be zero. Why it will be zero? Why will this be zero? Because this distance, if I say is capital R, I cannot use small r because small r I have used here. So if this distance is capital R for this plus charge, then you can see for this minus charge also this distance is capital R. So the potential of this small plus charge here and the potential of this small minus charge here will be equal but it will have opposite sign right because the charges are equal and opposite sign and the distance is same so the potential here due to plus charge and potential here due to minus charge will cancel because this point is at the center right so therefore this potential we can easily say is zero not this one remember this one the potential at point p is same as at the center and that is nothing but this. So this is our answer. So now if somebody asks how to find potential at P due to this induced charges, what we can do? Well, we came to know that this VP is same as potential at C. Right? And potential at point P we wrote before here 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by X plus this potential we don't know. So let us call this VP due to induced charge. So let me put here IND to remind you that this is potential at P due to induced charge. And that should be equal to potential at C. And potential at C will be only due to plus Q because these charges will produce zero potential at C. Right? So that will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q by R. So finally, potential at P due to the induced charges will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Q you can take common. So this has to go there, right? This has to go there. So 1 by R minus 1 by X.